Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Wais. Welcome to this video. And in this video, I am going to teach you how to set up SSH server in your Docker container. Now, you might be wondering, what is the use case for that? Well, the use case is pretty simple. You might want to run some sort of a code and you want to work on that code using SSH in your Docker container. Let me tell you my use case. So my use case was I wanted to have a separate Linux machine. So typically you will set up a virtual machine which takes up a lots of resources on your computer. So I thought, why not I just set up SSH server in the latest version of Linux. Let's get started by setting up a Docker container using Debian and then SSH into it, set up the root password and then set up the, some permissions to access it on your local network. So yeah, let's get started. You know, I'm going to write this command, docker images. And right now you can see I don't have any image, which is a default Linux operating system. I'm going to go to Docker Hub and I'm going to be using this command, docker pull Debian. And Debian is going to be our choice of Linux. So I'll do docker pull Debian. And we'll just wait for this to download Debian for us. I'm going to use a docker run command to create a docker container using Debian. So use docker run dash it for interactive mode dash dash name. And I'm going to name it Debian server dash p to specify the port. I'm going to use 2200 for host port and 22, which is going to be our port for SSH in container. So that's basically what you need to access the SSH and pull forward it to your local 2200. Then you can specify dash D to run it in a detached mode, then type Debian, colon latest. And I'm gonna just press enter and you can see it created a container for me. I'm going to use Docker PS command. As you can see, there is a container called Debian server. I'm gonna use VS code to see and you will see it will appear. So here we got Debian Lettuce, which we just created, and you can see its name as well, Debian Server. I'm gonna use VS Code Docker extension to actually access the shell. So I'm gonna click on Attach Shell after right-clicking on that container, and let's just zoom in a bit, and here we're going to use apt update first. Once this is updated, then you can install apt install open ssh dash server and press y enter we have ssh server installed now i'm going to use this service dash dash status dash all and you can see we have this ssh service but here you can see it's a minus sign which means it's not running so to be able to run this we just need to use service start as such, but before we do that, we are going to set up the password for our root user. And for that, we're gonna use pass wd root. And I'm going to just use password as the password. Password is updated, so that's good. Then also, we are going to update. I'm gonna use apt install nanotext editor, so I'm just gonna install that. So I'm gonna use nano and we're going to use etc. And then inside that, there's gonna be ssh folder. Then here, ssh config. So sshd config and modify this file. So within this file, you're gonna look for authentication. And here we have this permit root login. Okay, we are going to press enter here. I'm gonna say permit root login. So pretty much write the same thing and say yes. Okay, so make sure that you don't misspell it. So permit, so you can see I misspelled it. So let me go and remove this. we we'll just do permit root login, yes. Basically you need this because you will not be able to access your container using SSH. So I'm gonna write it out by uh, control O, enter and close that. Now we're gonna say, service start SSH. Okay, now it's not starting, so let's say SSH start. Now we are going to type service 
dash dash status dash all and you will see we have SSH with the plus sign on. That means it's running. Now at this stage, we can actually exit out from here, enter, and now I should use this terminal. And what I can do now is SSH root, and I'm going to basically use the port that I specified. So we'll just use root local host, and I'm going to use this dash dash port, and that would be 2200. Enter. And it will say you're using this port 2200, so that would probably be just P. Enter. And now you can say yes, and password, which I set it up. And voila, well, there you go. So you are in a Linux operating system using Docker container, and you are basically SSH into it using this 192.168.1.111 computer. So that's the process of setting up SSH uh, into a Docker container and access it remotely. Hope that helped. If it did, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Cheers, bye.